Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this, wherever you're watching this. My name is Rosh, and this is an addendum video to a previous video I put up of how to use Zoom, Loopback, OBS, and set up multiple camera angles, um, stream audio using Loopback into Zoom if you're doing remote sessions, remote teaching, remote production, remote mixing, any of those kinds of things. I made a instructional how-to video in my YouTube channel, um, and I'll put a link in the description below if you haven't seen that already. But this is just an addendum to that uh, follow-up video because I had a question in the comments. Uh, a user asked, hey, I'm a drummer and I want to use multiple camera angles on my drum kit. Um, is there a way to layer multiple camera angles using Cam Twist?" so I can have uh, you know different camera angles on my drum kit when I'm teaching. And I didn't get to go over that in my previous video, but yes, Cam Twist does allow you to do that. So this is an instruction quick one on how to do that. So um, my main setup is a Canon EOS M50, and I'm using Camera Live to siphon the video from my um, Canon camera. And I go through all the details on how to do that, as well as setting up an iPhone, etc., in the other video that I'm referencing. But for this one, if you want to actually set up multiple camera angles within Cam Twist, it's totally easy to do that. So, first off, I'll just siphon my main camera. So, right here, I did siphon camera live, and then what it is is it's um, taking the vi video feed from this program into Camera Live, and then if you hit Apple P or go to the View window. Um, up at the top, it makes a preview. So hello, this is Rosh, and this is my studio. Um, I'll just move this off to the side for a second. And what what you want to do is go to this function right here, which is PIP, picture in picture. And what you're going to do is select the second video source that you want. So if you have a webcam, if you have an iPhone, whatever you have um, set up, you want to select wherever it's going to be and then hit this PIP function. Um, so behind me, I'll just bring this back. So behind me back there on my drum kit, I actually set up my iPhone and I'm using a program called Epic Cam, E-P-O-C-C-A-M, Epic Cam. And I actually have it mounted on a stand just over, kind of like, you know, by my drum kit. So whenever I'm teaching drum lessons, um, I can just have an angle over my drum kit and just walk back there and use it. And you can actually put... For example, right here where my hands are or whatever, you can put a second camera angle down there. So uh, let me show you how to do that. You hit webcam, PIP, and then what it's going to ask you is which webcam do you want to uh, use? So, Or if you have an iPhone plugged in here, you know your iPhone would show up. If you're using the camera from your um, laptop, you can do that. So these are all different webcam utilities that you can use if you have an OBS virtual camera. Um, in my case, the Epicam program is uh, loaded on my phone right now, and my phone's streaming the video back there on my drum kit. So I'm going to select that, hit the PIP settings, and then the thing is, this these are all the functions that you can use to do that. So right now, this is the second camera angle on my drum kit. I'll just kind of move this to the side. And by dragging this right here, you can drag where you want the video to be. By scaling it, you can scale how big the stream is. So for example, if I want this to be in the bottom right-hand corner of my screen, that's what I would do. And again, we're still in preview. Oh, actually, we're in the Zoom meeting. But you know, you can check this out on, on in your preview if you hit you know Apple P. But right now, we're, I just dragged over the Zoom window. So here's my Zoom window. I'm in Zoom right now. And um, Zoom is taking the camera feed from Cam Twist, which is this program. And in, inside Cam Twist, I'm using this picture within a picture to have multiple camera feeds. And then so right here is the feed from my drum kit. Phone's mounted way back there. And then you can scale this, move it around. You can angle it, do whatever. Um, and adjust it whatever way you want. So let's just say I was going to, you know, have my camera angle like this. If you're a drummer, you can have like an overhead cam. I mean, it, the, the sky's the limit. And you have all these different features here that you can use um, with whatever you feel is necessary. Um, in the scope of this video, we're not going to cover any of those things. But this would be just the basic way to add a uh, camera angle. So I'll just walk back there really quick so you can see that this is still uh, this video feed down here is streaming live, so one second.
And there you go. Simple as that. That's all you need to do. Again, you would just use the PIP, which is picture in picture, and then select the source. Um, if you have a different camera angle, you might want to use the siphon instead. But this is a really simple way to put, um, you know, a second camera angle or a third or a fourth. You can layer as many as you want. And then, as you can see, I'm actually streaming it into Zoom. So if you guys have any questions or you need help setting up something like this, by all means, feel free to reach out to me at any time. But uh, this is just a little quick video to answer that question. Hope it helps you and helps. hope it helps everybody else uh, involved in this. All right. Thanks. I'm Rosh. See you guys next time.